Hello everyone, welcome to Chemistry Academy. We are here with one more problem of J Mains 2019 in which NTA has done blunder while making the question. The question is not complete and because of that many answers are possible but the answer given by uh, NTA is only one option which is not justified according to the given data and uh, in 2019, we have objected this question, but no action is taken by NTA. So this video is just to tell the student that these type of errors is done by NTA every year in J mains paper. And the other purpose of this video is that NTA should minimize uh, these type of errors. NTA should accept uh, that there is nothing wrong in uh, accepting uh, the mistake. So before starting the discussion of the question, I will request you to please like and subscribe our channel. And for such quality content, you can also download our app. So the link of the app is given in our YouTube channel. So this question is based on work done in isothermal reversible expansion of an ideal gas, which is a very common question, very simple question. So let us first discuss the concept of isothermal expansion and then we'll go through the question and discuss it. So here there is an animation based on isothermal reversible expansion of an ideal gas. We, if we draw pressure versus volume graph, it is a rectangular hyperbola. If we are going to decrease the volume, the pressure of the gas is going to increase. Or if we are going to increase the volume, the pressure of the gas is going to decrease. We know about this thing. And we also know that uh, in case of higher temperature, the work done can be more as that of lower temperature because area under pressure versus volume graph is different at different temperatures. So here it is shown that if there is an expansion during expansion, the work done is negative and during compression, the work done is positive. When expansion is taking place, uh, work done by the system is negative. So when this expansion is taking place at a higher temperature, then the work done by the gas will be more. If it is taking place at a lower temperature, the work done by the gas will be low. While comparing the work done, right? Pressure versus volume graph is there. If we compare the work done, that is area under the graph. Right. So when we have to draw at two different temperatures, so at higher temperature, if this is the graph at lower temperature, the graph will be like this. And when we are comparing the work done, it should be mentioned that what is the initial condition? If nothing is mentioned, it is a common sense that we'll take the same initial and same final volume in order to compare the work done at higher temperature and the work done at lower temperature. So while making this question, there is an error while uh, mentioning the initial condition of the gas, they have not mentioned what is the initial condition of the gas. And we know that entropy change during isothermal process, if temperature is constant, if an ideal gas is participating in any process, entropy changes NCV ln T2 upon T1 plus NR ln V2 upon V1. Since NCV ln T2, T2 and T1 is same. So first term will be equal to zero. So entropy change is equal to NR ln V2 upon V1. In case of expansion, V2 is greater than V1. So the entropy change will be positive. So let us go through the question. This was the question. Let me read the question first. Consider the reversible isothermal expansion of an ideal gas in a closed system at two different temperatures, T1 and T2, where T2 is greater than T1, the correct graphical depiction of the dependence of work on the final volume is. So here, the magnitude of work done versus ln V graph is uh, drawn at two different temperatures, T1 and T2. So let us discuss all these four options one by one. So when we are discussing this, the first option uh, here, they have drawn such that uh, the graph is going to meet on y-axis. If I extend this graph, this graph is going to meet on y-axis at the same point. It means the intercept on y-axis uh, is equal for the graph at temperature T1 and T2. For isothermal expansion, we know that work done is minus nRT ln V2 upon V1. So here V2 is V and V1 we have denoted by V1 only. If I expand this, I can write that at T2 temperature, work done is minus nRT2 ln V 
and this minus and minus will become plus. So n r t two ln v one. If I have to write the magnitude of work done, because in case of expansion, this first term is more negative, and the second term may be positive or negative depending upon what is the initial volume, right? The overall value is going to be negative, so that's why we have taken the modulus. So modulus of a negative number is represented by modulus of w is minus times of w. So if I take minus, I can write that the modulus of work done is equal to n r t two ln v, and this plus will become minus here n r t two ln v one. So now these two can meet. This is possible. Suppose if I am saying that v one is equal, then also since t one and t two is not same, that cannot possible that these two graphs should meet on y axis. So that seems to be wrong, right? So the first option is wrong because t one and t two is different. So the intercept on y axis at two different temperature t one and t two should be different. They have shown that the same, right? And not mentioning anything about initial volume. Suppose if I am saying that they have shown here positive that intercept is going to be positive when ln v one is negative means initial volume is less than one. When initial volume is less than one, then also uh, since if I am assuming that v one is same in both cases, the intercept is going to be different. So they are not going to meet at the same point. So the first graph is wrong. About the second graph. There is intercept and the intercept is equal to zero, right? If I draw here, it, it is passing from origin, so intercept is zero. Y is equal to m x. So here the slope is n r t two and n r t one. Since t two is greater than t one, the slope is fine, right? This is the less angle and this is the more angle. But they have not mentioned the initial condition. Intercept will be zero when they have mentioned that initial volume is equal to one liter. Since volume is not mentioned. Initially, how we can say that uh, we are starting from one liter? Then this is fine. If we are not starting from one liter, then this is also not possible. So both possibility is there for this graph. Again, here we are not able to decide that uh, which uh, answer should be there because initial condition is not mentioned. The answer given by uh, NTA for this question, they have given fourth as answer. So till now we got that we cannot decide about first and second option. Third option, if you go through it here, the higher temperature they have shown that the intercept on y-axis will be negative. The slope is fine that uh, this is more steep graph because n r t two t two is greater, so more steep that is fine. This is less steep at lower temperature. This is fine. But what about if nothing is mentioned about the initial volume? Will sh we should take the same initial volume? Then only we can compare. Now, in case of higher temperature, the slope is negative. It means that here they are saying that this volume V one should be greater than one. While in lower temperature, intercept is positive. That is possible when the volume V one is less than one. So they have this graph is possible when the initial volumes are different. They have not mentioned about the initial volume. How can we say that this graph is correct? So there is a problem in this also. NTA has given this fourth answer as correct, but again this is disputed because for T1 temperature the intercept is equal to zero. Intercept is equal to zero. That can be possible when V1 is equal to one liter. Then only the intercept will be zero and it is a line passing from origin. But at higher temperature the intercept is negative means the volume should be greater than one. So initial volumes are different. How we are comparing, and why they have given fourth option, right? That is not justified. That why they have given fourth as an answer. So let us see that what should be the changes in the question, and according to the changes, which will be the answer, right? So the three possibility we can discuss here about the initial condition. If the initial volume is equal to one liter, then the graph should be. If initial volume is one liter, then then intercept on y-axis at T one and T two both the temperatures is equal to zero because ln v one uh, is e ln one is equal to zero in both cases, right? So from here we can say that this should be the graph at low temperature the slope will be less at higher temperature the slope will be more, right? So this should be the graph if the initial volume in both cases is equal to one liter. 
In the second case, second possibility could be there that the initial volume is less than one liter. If the initial volume is less than one liter, then this ln V1 is going to be negative. If this is going to negative, the whole thing is going to be positive. If V1 is less than one liter, then ln V1 is negative and this whole intercept will be positive. Again here, intercept should be different. Lawn, NR ln V1 value will be same in both, but T2 is greater than T1. So we'll say that at higher temperature, the intercept will be more. At lower temperature, the intercept will be less. Uh, at lower temperature, the slope will be less steep, means this angle is less than this one. So this will be the possibility when the volume, initial volume of the gas in both the cases is less than one liter. The third possibility is there when the volume of the gas Initial volume of the gas is greater than one liter. In this case, ln V1 is positive. If this is positive, the intercept should be negative. If ln V1 is positive, the intercept should be negative. So this whole value uh, should be negative. This whole thing is going to be negative. So in that case, in both the cases, the intercept on y-axis at higher temperature, this is more negative. So this is at higher temperature. At lower temperature, this is less negative. Right, And the slope at higher and lower temperature also we can find out that at higher temperature the graph will be more steep and at lower temperature the graph will be less steep. So these should be the options provided the initial volume is mentioned in the question. Right, So we are going to bring up or discuss more such type of questions where NT has given wrong key. Either there is a problem in the question or more than one possibilities are uh, there so hope this is useful to you please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you very much bye bye